I tell y'all, boy, what does picture say at all, don't it? <laughs> this picture says it all. Like, Canelo looking in his photograph like, man, he's so full of PG-13 <laughs> channel. <laughs> you you buck tooth butter mouth bobblehead doll golden boy fans i told you idiots that this day was coming i told you i try i told y'all that this day was coming i told y'all this <sighs> but did you idiots listen i told y'all this was coming canelo's a free agent now you know and i was a fan of canelo you know uh I think I might go back to being a fan of Canelo now since he's no longer with Golden Boy. <laughs> Finally, Canelo wised up. God, dog. It took him damn near 10 years to do it, but hot diggity dog. Yeah, I might even be a Canelo fan again. Uh, you know, and Canelo did, uh, you know, he did so, show a support, man. You know, and, and Canelo went on his social media and said, look, man, Black Lives Matter. Like, he said it. He just said it. Look, man, you know, I, I, I meant to say that I got a lot of respect for Canelo on that one. OK, I might not respect some of his decisions, you know, some of the ones he's been making and people he didn't want to fight. But I, I, I still respect him on that end. <laughs> oh man i told you this day was coming this day have been coming i, I i've been telling y'all this but y'all don't want to listen man i told you this dude oscar de la hoya now canelo see how volatile that this idiot is canelo see that this man is a volatile stupid idiot he see it you know and, and you know canelo probably tired of this dude coming to meetings all coked out Signing him up for bad deals. You know, and, and Canelo probably got tired of that. You know, the man coming in there with fishnets and, and stockings and, you know, Canelo is tired of that, man. And, and you know, and, and Canelo and, and probably embarrassed by Oscar. Wouldn't you be embarrassed by this guy? Like, come on, seriously. Can anybody take this guy seriously? And, and you know you can't take him seriously. Not after those photos. Not after those incriminating photos online. Can no nobody take that man seriously after that? I mean, I got to tell y'all this. I know some of y'all don't want to hear this, but I got to tell y'all. I mean, I got to tell you. I mean, fuck, that's just how it is. Oscar De La Hoya has snipped his whole company up his nose. I mean, you know, this man done been in scandal after scandal after scandal. The man can't keep his nose clean. And I, well, I mean that, like, literally. He can't. The man can't keep his nose clean. <laughs> Every day. Like, dude, Oscar, how you mess up? Like, that, guys, think about it. How did this man, how did he mess up all of this money? Oscar done, Oscar done blew through. Oscar done messed up some money, y'all. Oscar De La Hoya has messed up some, some serious money. This is a big hit, because Canelo was like, what? Wasn't Canelo like 90% of their profits? God, dog. If this to end the Golden Boy, good, good. And I know some people say, man, well, how was that good for boxing? Well, okay, how was Oscar De La Hoya good for boxing? Tell me that. Okay? How was Oscar De La Hoya good for boxing? I mean, I mean, I mean, please, please, somebody tell me. How was the man good for boxing, but Al Heyman not? Because I used to hear so many of you idiots running around here. Oh, man, Al Heyman is bad for boxing. He, Al don't put on the best fights. Uh, he's bad for boxing. He's so bad for boxing. Okay, if Al bad, at least Al putting on fights. If y'all say Al 
don't put on the best fights. Okay, at least he uh, at least he is putting on fights. At least Al, you know, at least Al Heyman ain't in no kind of um, he's not in no kind of altercations or no kind of scandals. You don't see uh, pictures of uh, you know Al Heyman online, you know, with fishnets and all those other mess. You don't see all that. You see this clown though, Oscar De La Hoya. Look, man, he's getting everything that he deserved and then some. Okay. Then that's what he get, man, because he never acknowledged those emails. Never acknowledged the emails. Never one time, one bit. That's what he see. This is all karma, y'all. This is straight up karma. Folks, it is what it is, okay? This man has always done the dumbest things. Well, guys, this, this ain't nothing new, man. You, you know, it's, it's at a whole nother level now. Is that a whole nother level now? What you know? What is Oscar gonna do now? You gonna try to get him another fighter? Uh, that's probably why Oscar was sitting here running around here talking about he he want to get back in the fight. That's probably why he was saying that he want to get back in the fight. Like serious? Like dude, come on, get back in the fight, man. You better sit down somewhere. Y'all remember Oscar was talking about he gonna fight again and this. Well, now we know why. Boy, your company about to go up. Now I'm not I'm not in this pandemic, man. I'm not one of those people that. I'll make fun of somebody, you know, if they lose a job. I don't do that. I don't care who it is. But, you know, with this situation, man, you know, it is it is the roosters are coming. The crows are coming home to roost, man. They are because you can't do the kind of stuff that he's doing. And then you expect, you know, for you to, to be on top of the game. You can't do that, man. You can't. And Oscar has a lot of atonement to do. He's got a tone for a lot of the stuff that he's done. He didn't address when you didn't address those emails. Then you blew a kiss at Fred from, you know, somebody asked you about the emails, you blew a kiss at him. Like, dude, it's not important. It's okay. If black people money not important to you, then okay, that's what it is. But your boy left. Oh, whether he left or not, I mean, you, you saw it coming. You saw it. And I, I bet you Ryan Garcia next. I bet you Ryan Garcia next because, you know, Canelo and Ryan Garcia, they tight. They tight. He next. Ryan Garcia next. You know, I ain't covered a Golden Boy fight since then. Y'all know that? I ain't covered any fights on the Golden Boy card since he wouldn't acknowledge those emails. I sure didn't. Now, if Can I, I mean, with Canelo gone, I'll cover Canelo. I'll talk about his fights because he'll be no longer with Golden Boy. Now, if Canelo is ever fighting against people on the Golden Boy card, I won't cover the fights. That's just what it is. Okay, I'm not, I'm, uh, no, no. The man won't even acknowledge the emails. I don't see any sense in covering anything on a Golden Boy card. If Canelo Alvarez fights off, off, you know, outside of a Golden Boy card, yeah, I'll cover him. Okay, because I actually I, I like him as a fighter. I've always liked him as a fighter. I just hate the fact I hated the fact that he was doing business with Golden Boy. I hated that. Well, now he's done. <laughs> but I told y'all. And you stupid Oscar De La Hoya fans, you stupid fans, you look at this video, you look at this video, and you look at this picture. Because I'm going to tell you guys something right now. Let me tell you something right now. At the end of the day, I told you that this idiot clown in his custom-made penguin peach suit, I told y'all that he was going to destroy everything that he ever had. And now it's done. And now you people, you better bow down. You better bow down right now. You bow down. And you shut up. You shut up and you assume the position. Assume the position. You Delahoya fans, you keep your mouth shut. You shut your mouth. Because now what do you got to say? What do you got to say now about this? You goofy Delahoya fans, what do you have to say now? It's over. It's done.